Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day so far. So I have an avalanche on here, a 2002. I got on my lift here and the rear brakes are locked up and it's grinding the rear brakes. Let me show you what I got. Now here, somebody actually just put pads and rotors on this thing. Let me focus out a little bit. Somebody just put pads and rotors on this thing and this thing, I cannot turn it. It is locked solid. And the inner pad is metal to metal. And you can see, look at that rotor. That rotor is not that old. And come over here to the other side. And you can see it's not, that rotor's not that old. I mean, I'm not quite sure how long ago this was done, but same thing on this side. I can't turn this side either. With the wheel on it, I can make it move a little bit. And it's not the parking brake that's holding it up. It's the caliper. So what I want to show you, let me open that up. What I want to show you is how do you determine, how do you determine if, it's the caliper itself, it's a hose, uh, if it's something in a braking system holding it on, how, how do you determine that? I'm gonna show you just a quick way of trying to figure it out. What you do is you crack the bleeder open. So here I have a wrench on there. I haven't touched it yet, I haven't done anything yet. Now, if I crack this free and I get pressure coming out of that with nobody in the vehicle holding the pedal down, nothing. If I get pressure out of that and all of a sudden this whole thing releases, then I know the problem is in the hydraulic system before the caliper. So let's let's just do that to see. I think it's a bad caliper, but let's find out. And I got nothing. I got nothing. And this thing is still locked up solid. See, see how it's even moving like that? You know it's not locked up on the uh, brake shoes. There you got some fluid dribbling out, that's normal. But I'm pretty confident now that we just have a bad caliper. Like I said, if there was a restriction in the hose, let me just close this so I don't lose all the fluid. If there was a restriction in the hose, the hose is acting like a one-way valve or something like that, then the pressure would be in the caliper, you crack the bleeder free, and then it would spurt out, and then the, the brake itself would actually release. So since I don't have that, I'm pretty confident it's just a bad caliper. Um, it's probably a, a pair of bad calipers. This is actually... this. Avalanche is actually in mint condition. Uh, it never gets driven. It sits an awful lot. And um, it's only got 50,000 miles on it. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and I'm pretty confident that's what it's going to be. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's do that real quick. Take a walk with me. All right, so same thing here. There, it's open. Now that's normal. You should get something coming out of it. On some vehicles, you won't. Some vehicles, it'll actually suck air in if you don't have pressure on the pedal. So, that's actually okay. I'm confident that that's the issue. But yeah, this side still isn't turning either. So, I'm confident with these aluminum calipers that the piston itself is just corroded inside there and holding it together. So that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to wind up ordering calipers and rotors and pads for this. And uh, I'll put it all together that way. Um, if you get anything out of my videos, if you could hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. If you could, please subscribe. It'll help me make more videos. That's it for today. Have a great day and keep wrenching.